So hi guys, uh, this is the latest version of our unit converter, the one we reached in the last video. And before we move on to uh, uh, a web application, um, let's improve our uh, command line based um, converter a bit. Uh, two things bother me. One of them is like every time, like every time I run the program, Let's try it out. If I go F5, uh, okay, let me save it. If I go F5, then I just uh, enter the value. Let's say 35 and kilometer and then mile. And then I get the conversion. So, and the, pro and the, and the program exits. So I have to really F5 it again and run the whole process again. What if I need to do multiple conversions? So it would be nice for the application to keep on until I say I don't want anymore. So that's one thing what bothers me with this one. And the other thing what bothers me is uh, it would be nice if I can also input the short, uh, the abbreviations of each dimension. So it would be nice if I could like input KM for kilometers and MI for miles or YD for yards and so on in order to do a conversion. Now, I would like to add these two features into this application. And let's start with the first one. I would like the, the, the program to run the whole time. Basically, once I start a program, I would like it to run until I say exit. Now, how can I achieve that? Well, that brings us to a, a, a new concept, which is we know the for loop. Which we which we had previously, and what I which we used in the dictionary or in lists. There's another type of looping mechanism, which is the while loop. The while loop is something a bit different than for, and I think I'm gonna show you an example here. Uh, well, let's do it right here. Uh, with a for loop, you say for from here to there do this so you have in, in a for loop you basically know your boundaries you know for range from from this from zero for instance to five do this now we used it pretty uh, nicely in dictionaries where we said or lists for uh, from here to here do this you know so it was we know the ba we knew the boundaries of a four whereas with a while if you don't know the boundaries why would be perfect now here what what what, what the plan is all this, all this should loop continuously until the user says exit. And how, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need a, we need a trigger for that exit. And let's, let's just call that, um, yeah, app status, and that is empty so and the why the, the way we're gonna do it right now is uh, like this right so why and then app status and is not equal to and let's take e for exit so while app status is not equal to e then all of this should happen. So we should basically now just tab it in. Okay. And in here, now what happens is that the application starts, all this takes place. And once the conversion takes place, it goes again and loops again. And we need to give the user basically a choice. And that is input. input, uh, let's say, press any key to do another conversion or press E to exit, okay? So that's that and that's the input and we're gonna couple that input to app status.
So basically what happens now is that and a starter program app status is nothing. If it's as long as it's not E, that that stuff ha happens. Otherwise, it's just gonna exit. And here, every time at the end, the um, the application asks the user to type in anything or press E to exit. Right? Let's 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 try that now out. I've saved it. F five uh, invalid syntax. Oh, I forgot the colon, of course. Okay, F5. And now we start. I wish to convert 35 from kilometer to mile. So now it did the conversion. Now press any key. Now we see this part here. And I'm just going to press D for instance. And now we start again. Now enter value wish to convert. Well, I wish to convert uh, 16 uh, from a yard to uh, meter. That's my second conversion. Now I press any key and I'm in my third conversion and that can go on. So like this, let's do our final conversion, like 24 uh, millimeter to mile. And I got it. And now I press E and I'm out of the program. So that's one thing now we fixed. So basically our application doesn't just handle um, one round and exits, but it handles an unlimited amount of rounds and exits and, and, and uh, sorry, uh, it handles an unlimited amount of rounds until you as a user press E to exit. So that's, that's, that is one issue now we have fixed. Um, and that's with the while loop. And the way that that while loop works is as you see, it doesn't know when the limit is, but the while loop goes on until you press the E. Whereas with the four, it'll, it'll be pretty, hard to 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 uh, to do that you can do it with a four but it would be not elegant you know so here for such instances while is perfect because what while does it goes on until some condition is not fulfilled in this case the app status being equal to e and um, right so that's the, that's one thing handled now the other thing what's what's bothering me is that you know i would like i mean even though knowing knowing the fact that this is ultimately going to be a web app and knowing ultimately that that the user is going to uh, input the the units the the to and from units uh, through a drop down it would be nice also in this command line based uh, program for the user to input the the, short, the you know the abbreviations of each dimension now, how do we go about that? Well, one way of doing it is, first of all, we have to modify our database. So basically, that's what I already did. Here's our modified table, and I've inserted these two rows. Oh, these two rows basically convert from short, and I put in the, the short of each, uh, of each unit. And I also added a convert to short and I also short the short for each unit. So now we have, we used to have convert from and convert to and the factor. Now we have these two in addition. So now obviously we also have to modify our SQL code, our SQL query because right now our query or basically our where statement just handles this and this and what we what we have to say our query now has to go like this where convert from is yard or convert from short is yd and convert to is either kilometer or convert short or convert to short is either a km and here this is a query which let's do it here in the sql first of all so uh, let's say select factor from conversion factors, right? 
And let's uh, put in there a square brackets. Okay, and here as well. And go. So now these are all our conversion factors. Now, now here, where? And now, convert to is equal to kilometer. I'm just, first of all, writing in our uh, original query. And, oh, sorry, convert from. Uh, from. And convert to is mile. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should be right. Let's write out. And now we have that. Now we have this factor here. Right. Now, how can I now encompass uh, these two as well? Well, then we have to do the following. And here's very important. You have to remember that, let me just first of all write the or, or convert from short is equal to km and convert to and or convert to short is equal to mi. Right. Now, we have our query. That's the way the, way the query looks. So either convert from is kilometer or convert from short is km and convert to mile and so on. Now, one thing is very important here. Uh, you don't want to mess up that, you, that, that this or is for this section or that this and only applies to this. So in such a case, I always recommend use parentheses because parentheses isolate the issues. For instance, this, so basically what happens here, this either or is taking place in this and this, this unit, this, whatever comes out of this is then coupled with this by an end. And this can also be then encompassed by uh, parentheses. So what happens here is that we have just uh, made our where statement a bit more complex. And when you have such complexities in it, it's best to have these separate items in a, in a, in a parenthesis because this is supposed to act as one complete unit and this as well. And those two units are then coupled with an end. So that's the way our query should look. And now, and now we should be getting the same, the same factor. And even if, 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 if this is now empty, yeah, it still works because the or says that, you know, the kilometer is important. And if I do, I still get the factor. And even if I take off the mile, uh, then uh, still work. I, you know, for this not to work, I'd have to mess up something like here, like, you know, and then it won't work. All right, great. So now we know how, how the query is gonna, gonna be. Let me just, can I? So that's the way our query is supposed to be. And this is what we're gonna be building in Python. So let me just copy that and use that as a sort of a template and go here. So our query is here. Uh, sorry, here, our SQL where statement is here. Let me just uh, put our template in a comment, and then I can just improve my my second SQL. SQL. And let's uh, comment this one out. And then um, let's go SQL where is equal to and then I start up with this thing here I can copy that okay and basically that's it that's that's the end and now comes the now I have to first of all here put a parentheses and then uh, that's that's, uh, that's that that's that part now comes the or and then convert 
from short is equal to, and then I again close the double quotes. So that is this part here. And then I've got to again add this. It's the same input. And then, so I've got the kilometers. Now I've got to just add this part and uh, double quotes, single quote, close paren. And what I'm going to do, I've just done this part and I'm going to show you something else. I wish to continue that string on a second line and the way you do that in Python, because it's going to be too long to be visible in that window and becomes quite unreadable. What you do in Python, if you wish to continue the same um, thing uh, on another line, just uh, add a backslash and now I can continue on the other line. And now I'm going to do the second part here. And so now it becomes really readable. This is the first part. Now comes the second part, which is basically and 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 then I could just basically copy this part, make my life easier. Right, and just convert to, and that would be the two input. And convert to short, and that would be the two input. Close paren, close paren, I got it all right. And I don't need the space here. So I did the space here, so at the end, it's got the space, you know, this is the space here. Right, so now I've got my new SQL where statement done. Okay, great. And basically, we can take it for a run. Okay, let's see. Uh, save and let's go F5. Right, now enter convert. Let's try our first fully written kilometer to mile. That still works. Now let's do press any key. Let's do another one. Let's do the, and let's do the same thing, 35. This time KM and MI. And I'm getting the same result. And it's done the conversion. Now the only thing what bothers me, there's another thing what bothers me is that I'm getting here KMMI, you know, I, I would still like to get this, you know, I'm, I'm getting this. Now, how can I do that? How can I make that happen? And then, then, then I'm perfectly happy. Well, um, the problem is that we're only getting factor out of the, of the database. Why not get, why not get uh, the following? Uh, convert from comma convert to comma. right and say now we have to pay attention because um, let me quickly uh, comment out a lot of stuff for you to see something and yep right or basically no uh, you know what leave it now um what happens here is that you are now or we are now calling three fields from the database and the conversion factor is no more zero zero remember the the when you when you call a database what it returns it returns a list and within that list is a second list uh, or, or two tuple and previously we only had factor and that's why we had here this is the outer list that stays zero because you only get one row whereas this is the inner list yeah because remember uh, the way uh, the database output was like this and then you had a tuple and then you had something uh, close tuple and then close list that's the way we, now with three fields we have like something like this okay and so 
the conversion factor is no more zero. It, this one is the outer list, and we still have only one row. We're only getting one row. So that's still zero. But this one here is no more zero, but one, two, uh, zero, one, two. So basically that is two. Okay, that's the, that's the change because now we're calling three fields instead of one. And, and if I need now to get convert from, well, convert from, let me just copy that. And I can just call a new variable from unit. From unit and from unit would be a string of found data zero zero. That would be the first one and two unit because that's the first field I'm calling and two unit would be two unit would be string found data zero one. Yeah, because that's zero one. And that one is zero, one, two. So now that makes sense. And my conversion type, this is what gets printed, is no more um, what the user inputs, but this here. It, regardless of what the user inputs, we are outputting the fully written unit now. And why? Because we're getting it from the database. Let's save that. Let's run the application. Uh, F5. So now unit to convert from, let's say 35, and I give in K or input KM, MI, and I get now kilometer, mile, and the conversion. I don't get this short stuff. So that makes the application now it's perfect. I mean, I could put in, I could input um, uh, fully written. Oh, I need to add the value. Nah, man. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, my, yeah, uh, let's go again. So now if I do uh, kilom uh, value, the value is 35 uh, kilometer mile. So now I get it like this. And even if I, any unit, let's do again the 35. If I input km, and mi i would get the same thing and now i can do anything regardless let's say uh, 156 uh, from yard to millimeter and i would get yard to millimeter that conversion so you see now regardless of what the user inputs the the, the application outputs always the full units and does the conversion nevertheless and this is now you can see now how we're we can continuously improve the application. And um, what we did here, basically, we had this application loop in an eternal loop until the user uh, presses E. And another thing we, we did, we restructured the database for it to be able to handle um, the abbreviations of each unit. And that enabled us or enabled the user to either uh, input the units fully written or in short but the application still outputs the units in full because we're now calling them from database we're not just, we're not just calling the factor and all we have to do is just change a, a few details here